Hey everyone, today I'll show you how to install the non Rinner Dragon version of Minecraft Bedrock on Windows 10 or Windows 11. Now for context, Render Dragon is a rendering engine for Minecraft Bedrock that has been added a few updates ago, I believe it was 1.16.200, and it added a bunch of things, notably ray tracing, but it also removed support for custom shaders, and overall it tends to be a bit laggy and somewhat inconsistent and buggy, so a lot of people don't like it for that reason. When you download the game from the Microsoft Store on Windows 10 or Windows 11, you will always get a version that has Render Dragon with it, unless you're on some specific device configuration. However, there is a way that you can get a non-Render Dragon version of the game on a new version, meaning that you can keep playing with things like this chunk border pack I've enabled here, or some custom shaders in modern versions of the game without having to deal with the render dragon. Before we go to the next part of this guide, I just do want to point out that you will have to redo this for every update that comes out, since when you update your game from the Microsoft Store, it will automatically re download a version that does have render dragon. And well, it may be a bit tedious, but I think it is worth it. Also, quite obviously, since we would be running without Render Dragon, that means no ray tracing. I don't think that's relevant for most people, since very few better players actually have access to a ray tracing capable graphics card in their computer, but if you do use ray tracing, that is something you should consider. Alternatively, you can also use a version switcher, that is something I'll get into later, but for now we'll just go through the simple installation for anyone who doesn't really want to bother with version switching. So I just downloaded a fresh installation of the game from the Microsoft Store, just to demonstrate what the process would be like. And since I just downloaded it from the store, of course it's a Render Dragon version. I added a world here, just to demonstrate what the backup process is like, since we do actually need to uninstall it first before we can install the new non Render Dragon version. So obviously what we want to do is close it, and once we're on the desktop here, you want to press Windows and R, and then you can do the run widow, and you just want to enter percent appdata percent. What that does is that it puts you into this folder right here, and if you look on the top, you want to click on App Data, then you want to navigate to Local, scroll down until you find Packages, and then you want to scroll down and look for Microsoft.MinecraftUWP. This is where all your game files are. Then you should go in Local State, Games, Com.Mojang, and you'll find all of your stuff here. So if you have any Minecraft worlds, for example, this world right here, you can just select all of them. I only have one right here, copy them. And then on your desktop, you can create a new folder or you can create it anywhere. Just name it backup or something. And you can paste in your worlds. If you go back to your Minecraft worlds folder, it's still there, of course. And you can do the same with all of your resource packs, behavior packs, etc. So the resource packs are the texture packs and everything. Behavior packs is for, well, behavior packs. It's quite obvious. So you just go through each of them, you back up what you want, and you can copy it into the same folder later again. So now that we have back up to our world, we can go back to the desktop. And what we want to do now is uninstall the game. So simply go into settings and you can uninstall the game right here. That will be done real quick. And that's it. Now what you want to do is visit this site right here. I have the link in the description so you can visit it yourself. And it says Windows 10 but it works for Windows 11 as well. Because Windows 11 is basically just a reskinned version of Windows 10. If you want to you can just follow the article right here. But to be honest, there's some slight problems that I encountered myself that I would like to go into detail with, so I suggest continuing to watch this video. And yes, that is actually an article from the official Hive website. The Hive is a very popular and large microserver if you didn't know that already, so there's absolutely no chance that this is going to get you banned or somehow otherwise disadvantaged. 
As the article states, Render Dragon versions of the game can have certain problems. For example, there's a bug called the pink glitch, where some textures will turn pink over time, could have bad performance or high input delay. Render Dragon does have various problems. Now to actually download the non-Render Dragon version of the game, you can click right here. And this will redirect you to this site. Now, what should normally happen is that if you click right here, it would download it and you could simply save it. But that doesn't exactly work for me. So what I do is just right click, copy link address, open a new tab, and then paste and go to. And that downloads the file for you. You can save it and that will be quite large. So it's 600 megabytes for me. Just need to wait for it to finish downloading. And then we can proceed to the next steps. I do want to point out that you of course need to have bought the game from the Microsoft Store because what this link actually does is just open a download page from the Microsoft Store itself, from Microsoft Service so to speak. So this won't really work unless you know you have actually bought the game. Now that it has finished downloading, we can open the folder. Now there's a bit of a problem here. As you can see, you can't open it because it doesn't have a file extension. That may be confusing to some, but basically every file has a ending after the file name itself, which tells the computer what type of file it is. And for some reason here, it doesn't show them sometimes. So what you simply want to do, if your file doesn't end with .appx, you just want to go to the end and type dot app x as soon as you do that it will be recognized by the computer and then you can just double click it and as you can see the installer will open you can simply install it and once it's done your game will be completely up as you can see the game opened after having installed it and it looks like it's fully functional just to test if this is actually a render dragon version of the game we're going to activate a shader pack and this shader pack only works on non-render dragon versions of the game. So if the shader pack works, that will confirm that this is in fact a non-render dragon version of the game. Let's just make a simple flat world. And as you can see, the shader is working and we are in fact on 1.18.2. So that does indicate that we are running a non-Render Dragon version of the game on Windows 10 or 11, if you're on Windows 11. So yeah, that's great. Now, if you want to get back your worlds back to where they were before, let's go back to the desktop and we go to our backup folder. We can simply copy our world, copy right here. Then we do the same thing as before, Windows and R, percent app data percent we navigate to app data local packages and we find microsoft.minecraftuwp local state games Mojang, and minecraft worlds and this is where our worlds are and then of course if in your backup folder you have your texture packs or your behavior packs and everything you can also go back to this folder right here and copy them in here for behavior packs, here for resource packs, skin packs, whatever it may be, you can copy and paste them all back into here. All right, if you're just using a normal installation of the game without a version switcher, you are pretty much done. And like I said, you will need to repeat the step if you want to update the game. If you do want to update the game, then you can actually just go straight back to this page right here, repeat the process of clicking here, copy link address, paste and go there. And then you can actually download the newer version and then you don't need to do the uninstall process. You can simply go here and you will be able to just uh, update the game when you click here. I can't do it right now because it's the same version and only have the option to reinstall it. In fact, that is also the reason why you need to uninstall the game in the first place, because if you download the latest non-Render Dragon release and you attempt to install it, and you have the latest Render Dragon release, and they're the same version, so 1.18.203.0,
the installer will not actually recognize that there is a difference between these two versions and it will think that it is simply the same one since the number is you know the same even though it is different because one has render dragon and the other one does not so that's the reason why you need to uninstall it because it will only let you reinstall it and if you attempt to reinstall it it won't work i already tried and well it just doesn't work so if you weren't planning to use a version switcher that is all you need to do However, if you are using a version switcher such as Foxy No Tails version switcher, there's something very simple you can do. What you need to know about AppX files is that they're actually just renamed zip archives. So what you can do is rename it and change it to the zip at the end. There we go. And it just says zip. What you can do after that is extract all, and then you choose into which folder to extract which would be right here, but I will cancel it because I already extracted it before. So as you can see, this is all there is. And this is actually just the game folder and you can copy that into your directory where you have all your versions stored for your version switcher. If you're interested in a version switcher tutorial, I'll link the one made by Foxy Nutail down below. I like his version switcher a lot. I think it is very clean and it's very functional and it doesn't exaggerate on style. The point is it works and I think that's great. In the case of Foxy and No-Tails version switcher, you want to delete this file right here, appxsignature.p7x. You can just delete it and there you go. Then you can copy it and paste it into the versions directory. In my case, the versions directory is right here, so I would need to paste it here, but I'm not going to do that because I already have this exact installation right here. I do want to point out that every different Minecraft Battle Conversion Switcher has a different system, so what you do want to do is follow those tutorials precisely. In the case of Foxy no -Tails one, you have to delete the appx.signature, whatever it is that I showed you already, and then rename the folder to Minecraft Dash and the version number. I'm not going to show you how to do that because that is, I believe, specific to Foxy Notice version switcher and you just want to follow each tutorial of each version switcher. Alright, that was it for this tutorial. I hope it was very helpful to you and I hope that you are happy to enjoy all the features of the non-Render Dragon version of the game in an actually modern version of the game, so not staying on the old 1.16.100 and such. And I think that is great. Sadly, Render Dragon isn't that great yet. I believe in the future, if they add shader support, it could be better than it is right now. But it is good to have an option to stay on the non-Render Dragon version of the game for now. With that being said, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. And I will see you around. Bye!